Hey, what's up guys, Glock9 here, and welcome to a new 7 Days to Die series that we're just kind of testing out right now to see if this is even going to be a viable way to play the game. I'm calling this one Floor is Lava, and we've spawned here into a random gen map. The seed for this map is Floor is Lava, all one word. We're on insane difficulty, 64 zombie hordes. Uh, no airdrops, everything else is default. We've got a gyrocopter right here with two cans of gas inside. It's also already filled with gas. Nothing on us except for what you start the game with and an iron fire axe. I figure I'm going to need at least one tool to start off with because what we're going to do is hop in the gyrocopter, take off, and once we do, we cannot touch the ground again except for POIs. So we can land on the rooftop of any building we want, search that building. We just cannot go outside of that building, not in the backyard, not in the front yard, just the building itself. And then we can hop back on our gyro and fly to the next building. And that's it. No touching the ground outside of buildings whatsoever. So, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a viable way to play the game, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to just play it and see how it goes. So that's why I'm really calling this a test series. Plus, Alpha 18 is coming up soon, so we'll just mess around with this and see how it goes. Because I'm not opposed to starting the game with a bunch of gear. Look at Ghost Town. We started with a motorcycle, a whole bunch of desert clothing, a gun, ammo... You know, I'm not opposed to that, but the less you start with, the more challenging it's going to be, and I love a good challenge, so we're just starting with the fire axe for now, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe we might decide after three episodes and we're starving to death or um, whatever, we get killed real quick that, oh shit, maybe we should have started with a weapon or clothing. Obviously our spawn, we got real lucky here, we're in the green biome, but if we would have spawned in in the desert or in the um, snow biome, we wouldn't be able to get grass fibers to make clothing real quick, so we would instantly be freezing or overheating. So that's another thing to think of. But so far, I think we're doing okay. And I think that mansion right there is going to be the first place we're going to land on. It's got a nice big roof. We should be able to land on there safely and take off again safely. That's another thing to keep in mind. You know, we're going to have to be taking off from these locations as well as landing on them. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Stop. Do not roll off the roof. Okay. Now, at this point, the inventory... Well, it's not empty. There are two gas cans, but we can grab those real quick, and we can pick the gyro up and move it to a better location to take off from, like right over here. But as the gyro's inventory gets full, that's going to be harder and harder to do because, you know, you can't take off... or You can't pick up a gyrocopter with uh, stuff in the inventory. So here we are, the first rooftop, first building, and this is why I gave us a fire axe, because, uh, now this rooftop is wood, but uh, even a wood rooftop, oh shit, that's concrete. Um, okay, this is a concrete roof. Maybe we should have gave ourselves a pickaxe too. Let's see if we can find another way in. Because, yeah, I mean, even if it was all wood, though, can you imagine just having to sit there and punch through the wood roof? Screw that, right? Um, what about over here? Oh, look at this. Yeah, we can hop down here. Go in right through the window. And we're in. All right. Um, whoops. There's some glass in our way. All right. Oh, some more glass in our way. We got to get some wood real quick, too. I don't mind using the torch as a weapon. Um, and it does okay when it sets the zombies on fire, but it kind of sucks, too, because you can't do, like, a heavy hit with it, and it just doesn't do that much damage. So I would rather make a wood club as soon as possible. Grab some of the cloth here. All right, that's it for this bathroom. Let's open this door and see what we got. Bedroom. Uh, that's locked. That's unlocked. All right. A zombie coming up the stairs. See, I just feel like the torch doesn't do a good job in knocking them down. Like, yeah, it sets them on fire, great. But when you're fighting in a little tiny area, which is basically what we're going to be doing this entire series, because we're only going to be fighting inside POIs, obviously, you know, uh, you got to keep backing up. Uh, it'd be nice to have a weapon that, you know, knocks them down frequently, give us some breathing room. And the torch just doesn't really do that. Let's get back out the window.
Okay. Let's get back in here. And we got more coming. He might be the last one. Let's bring him out here, though. Plenty of room to fight him out here. Alright, now I think we're clear to get back inside. We already looted the bathroom. Let's go right into this bedroom here, which there is nothing to search in here. There is a door that was locked. We might as well check it out. Looks just like a closet. One thing to search in here. T-shirt. Alright, we'll put it on. Why not, right? T-shirt's better than no shirt. Let's keep it moving here. We'll search the... Uh, oh, got a crawler right here. Search the upstairs, then we'll head downstairs. And then we'll uh, get out of here and head to the next building. I think starting with these houses like this is probably the best bet. You know, versus like a dungeon-style POI that is going to force us uh, into different locations. Granted, the loot will be better at a place like that, but there'll be more zombies and it'll be more difficult to navigate. Maybe not, though. Actually. With a dungeon style, because usually the doors are all open. There's always a, a set way to go with the dungeon style. However, they're not built to navigate backwards. <laughs> so, it's good. this is all a learning experience. You know what I mean? But like I said, I think starting with these standard houses is probably the best move, at least until we level up a little bit and get some better weaponry. Ooh, we'll take the duster and the cowboy boots for sure. Look at this little ass room. What's the point of having a mansion if this is the way you're gonna live? <laughs> you know what I mean? What the fuck? Alright, put the boots and the duster on. We got another little tiny ass room here. Small little closet, nothing to search in here. This whole room is a dud. Got a bathroom. Probably should look in here first. Theater room. No zombies in either of these rooms, so we're clear to loot. Got some jeans and uh, some 9mm ammo. Bandana. Let's go ahead and throw the bandana and the jeans on, and hopefully we can find the gun to go with that ammo. Real quick, though, I want to uh, break up a couple of these couches. We got some leather from them. Not a big deal. We don't really need the leather right now. I'm more interested in the wood, so we can go ahead and make ourselves a wooden club. What the hell is that? A oh, rabbit. Dude, some free food. Come here, you little fucker. Do not jump over the railing. Oh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. It's every animal for himself out here. All right, let's get downstairs. Beautiful open floor plan down here. Oh, zombie and a whole bunch of chairs we can pick up for the wood. That is nice. Now, when I first thought of doing a floor is lava series, I obviously, I thought about doing it where you can't touch the floor anywhere. Inside a POI or outside of a POI. And then I said, you know, that's just going to involve me stair-stepping with wood frames the entire, you know, every episode. And it's just going to get just really painful to watch, you know, and painful to play that way, too. I figured this way is kind of the best of both worlds. We get to, you know, move through POIs without worrying about touching the floor, but we can't traverse the outside, which really does make it challenging. It's kind of like the Dishong Tower challenge, except we can move from POI to POI. Um, and of course, you know, starting with the gyrocopter, some might look at that as cheating, but how else are you going to fucking do it? You know what I mean? Uh, when I make these series ideas, I want to make them challenging, but I also want to make them fun and entertaining too, you know? So there's like a fine line there that you got to walk. Oh, cooking grill, that's nice. Now we need to find a cooking pot so we can boil water. Stone is going to be another issue in this series. You know, to get a whole bunch of stone real quickly, obviously the easiest way to do that is to destroy stone. Which, we're not going to find any of that inside POIs. And without a pickaxe, trying to get stone from like a stone wall or floor is just going to take forever. So, a lot to think about and a lot to figure out. Obviously, food and water are going to be big problems in this series, but if we can grab enough potted plants, we can make forest grounds, and then we can find, like, a hotel, or, uh, you know, a POI with a big roof and a lot to explore. 
And then before we go exploring the POI, we can lay down the forest grounds on the rooftop, maybe start a garden. There's a modifier. We can't use that thing yet, though. So, yeah, food and water, man. Those are going to be our biggest problems. Now, obviously, we can fly around to, like, uh, restaurants, places that we know we're most likely going to find food and water. You know, Shamway food places and stuff like that. But uh, it's a shame, you know, that in snow biomes, the snow didn't pile up on the rooftops of POIs. Because then we can just fly over to the snow biome, land on a rooftop. Whoa, this guy almost boxed me in there. And just collect the snow from the roof. And then use the snow to make water, but it's not going to be that easy, unfortunately. Are there zombies in here? Oh yeah, they just broke in from outside. Or is that the garage? I think that's the garage. Some coin. Oh shit, you know what? I'll take the coin for now, but I never tested out to see whether or not we're going to be able to fly into a trader location or not. Obviously, if you try to fly into one when the place is closed, it boots you out once you get into the trader's airspace. But I'm assuming when the trader is open, we should be able to fly in there and land. We'll just have to see. We gotta find a trader first. Alright, we're out of here. Let's get to the gyro and fly off to our next location. Now, another thing I thought about for this series was what about digging down? You know, if you get into a POI, can you break open the ground and dig down for resources like stone, iron, um, clay soil, things like that? I, I think I'm going to say no for now. Let's not do that. If this becomes way too hard and there's just not enough resources, then we can always change up the rules a little bit. That's why this is kind of just a test to see uh, how viable this whole game mode really is. We got another mansion right here with a nice flat roof that's going to be real easy to land on and take off from. So let's go ahead and put her down right there. And this place has a pool in the backyard. Now, I thought about this also. Like, with a pool in the backyard, can I pull myself out from the building and get water from the pool and I decided against that. I'm going to make everything outside of the POIs off limits. Now I could maybe make a bridge from one POI to another if there are really or if there are two really close buildings, that would be okay. But harvesting resources from a source that is outside of a POI, I'm gonna leave off limits for now. And just kind of see how that works out for us. Um, well, let's just jump down there and deal with this dude. Oh, what? Fucking crawlers are the worst. And I got a sprained ankle. And look how much damage I took. Welcome to insane difficulty. Alright. Oh, still hearing some zombies. I don't know if they're outside or somewhere in the building. Let's just try and get through this kitchen real quick. Um, another thing to note, top right corner, I still have the initial challenges that we can do. I was thinking about just removing those because, uh, you know, getting to them is going to be quite difficult. But I figure at some point, we may be able to lay down some forest ground and grow grass and be able to make a bedroll and get through all of those challenges. And if at some point we are able to get through them we can still get those four skill points. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the challenge there. And we'll see if we can get all those things completed at some point. This is the master bedroom right here. Got a real tight entrance, so we're going to try and just get in and out of here as quick as possible. Some acid. Nothing. It's too bad you can't get water out of toilets. Alright, it's too bad there wasn't water in that bathtub. That would have helped out a bit. All right, let's get out of here before we get trapped. We got this hallway down here before we head upstairs. Bathroom. We got three rooms over here. All of them have open doors. Whoop. I think he came from upstairs. Let's take care of him. We'll work that hallway. Head upstairs, clear that place out and search it. And then move on again. See how many of these POIs we can clear out before it gets uh, too late. Uh, one thing to consider, though, I mean, we don't have to worry about it right now, it's just day one, but if we run out of gas, we're stuck. 
You know, we can't move on at that point. So we're just going to have to survive wherever we are for as long as we can. Or if the health of the gyrocopter deteriorates all the way, then we're screwed. So we have to make sure we have gas and a repair kit on us so we can repair the gyro and keep it filled with gas. Otherwise, we're screwed. Nothing. And there's nothing else to search in this bathroom, so... Let's move on here. Probably should close these doors just in case. Just a little bedroom. A lot of small little bedrooms in this house. You know what? We're going to take apart this bed here. We'll not take it apart. Break it up with the axe for the cloth so we can go ahead and make some bandages. Um, let's make five for now. Another modifier. Dude, that's three modifiers. Now we just need level two tools and weapons so we can use those things. All right, let's loot the upstairs and then move on. We are encumbered right now, but it's not a big deal. I don't think there are any zombies left up here, so it's just a matter of taking what we can find. Blood bag and some paper, more paper, and I'm just taking everything for right now. You know, wherever we end up tonight, we can always go through our inventory, and if there's anything we feel we don't need, and it's just a waste of space, we can get rid of it at that point. Alright, that's it for this place. Let's get back out this window. Back to the gyro and see where to next. Well, let's just cruise right across the street here. Why not? That's convenient. Come on. Set her down. Oh, we're going to overshoot it. Turn around. Get up here. Beautiful, dude. Man. We're getting good at this already. All right, let's... Break into this place. Now, like I was saying earlier, starting with these simple yet larger homes, I think is a good decision. However, we are finding pretty mediocre loot in them. So this might be the last one. After this place, we might have to go for like a dungeon style building. You know, somewhere where the, all the loot is on the, the rooftop, because that's where we're going to be starting anyway. All right. It's kind of a far drop. Don't want to sprain my ankle again. There we go. Got a sleeper, a couple of sleepers. Bunch of closed doors. Well, let's just wake them up. Get this place looted and get out of here. Right, there she goes. All right. Oh, grab this house plant. We'll scrap that for the clay soil. Whoops. Meant to grab these chairs here that we can scrap for the wood. Let's do that. Okay. We're going to need to find a lot more plants than that if we want to make a garden. Oh, bone. Guess we can go ahead and make a bone blade out of that. Why not? Oh, you know what else we can make? An uh, iron reinforced club. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's cancel that. Uh, I've got a skill point that we earned before. So before we craft that iron club, I want to put that point into intellect. This way, that club will be level two. And then we can throw one of these modifiers in it also. Oh, they're coming in through the front door. Let's let them come in then. That's another door leading to the outside. Let's check out this little bedroom real quick. Another t-shirt, sweatshirt, and some pants. Let's get out of this room real fast. All right, she's in. Let's take care of her. And then those pants might be better than the jeans we're wearing, so we'll check that out. The t-shirt we can scrap. See ya. All right, there are still zombies around the house. We just need to be careful. So the jeans we have on, yeah, the goth pants are better. So we'll put those on, we'll put the sweatshirt on, we'll scrap one of the t-shirts, hold on to the other one, just in case we do decide to go to the uh, desert biome or whatever. Uh, that door's locked. Let's check this room out real fast. Oh, big mama in the bathroom.
Okay, we'll take the cowboy hat. We'll actually put the hat on. I'm going to scrap the poncho, though. We have a duster. No need for a poncho. Ooh, lucky looter goggles, dude. Those are going to help a lot. Sweet. All right, let's get out of here. Those lucky looter goggles were a nice find, but other than that, pretty mediocre loot. So, let's try something a bit different now. All right, well, here's a passing gas with the main loot on the roof. So, we're going to put her down here. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to get inside this place because that will involve breaking through a concrete roof, which we don't have the tools to do that right now. But, we can at least get the main loot that's right here. Kill the few zombies that might be on the roof. Keep a lookout for vultures. I don't see any. I think they would be attacking me by now. <laughs> Ooh, repair kits. That's nice. Now we can repair the gyro if it gets too damaged. A mini bike front end. That's not going to do us much help in this series, so as much as it pains me, I'm going to go ahead and scrap it for the iron. Oh, shit. That's not good. Uh, can we get... No. Great. And we can't even pick this thing up. Look how full the inventory is. Can we get unstuck here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be enough room still, though. We're going to have to back this thing all the way up to where uh, we landed. And now with that block out of the way, though, we should be able to take off. Let's try it from here. You think we could... Think we can get over that lip? Uh, no. No way. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully we didn't screw ourselves by landing here. Oh, oh no. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, success. Oh, well, we got a couple of buildings here with loot on the roof. To the left is the bear den, and this one right here is the preschool. So that's what we're going for. Not going to mess with the bear den just yet. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Nice. All right. Birds. Come on, you fuckers. One. Let's go. Two. The other one's still sleeping. Well, we can get a decent amount of feathers from these guys. Let's, uh... Let's just wake the bird up. Come on. There we go. See ya. A couple of zombies. No big deal. We got the loot up here. And then we'll see, um... You know how far we can get into the building and what it looks like down there, but most likely we're just going to loot the rooftop and this is where we'll spend the night and then maybe tomorrow or in the next episode we'll loot the building and then move on. We have to decide if we're going to make a building our base. Like, are we going to make a main base in a building? Like a place to call home and store all of our loot? Or are we going to constantly be on the move here? It probably makes sense to call one place our home and you know store all the loot there probably one of the bigger places that's kind of centralized in a city there we go a couple of pistols some silver and a bow now we just need to find a trader but yeah to in the next episode we'll go explore this city a bit more i think i saw a couple of big buildings and i think they were hotels and that might be the way to play it go to the hotel Set up uh, something on the rooftop, you know, lay down storage, a bedroll, the land claim block, all the things, right? Um, and then go out and explore and loot other places and then always at night fall back to the hotel to our base there. That probably is the way to play this. And then when the hotel gets old, you know, round up all of the important shit that we found and move on to a new city. All right, let's see what we got down here just so we know... What we're working with. Make sure no zombies can come up to where we are. I don't think so. 
Just the whole drop ceiling area right here. I don't think any zombies are going to be able to make it up to the roof. There are definitely zombies awake in there. Not much we can do. I mean, there is... We have time before nightfall, but I think I'd rather hold off and raid this building in the next episode. Plus, our inventory is a complete and utter mess right now. I need to go through all this shit and figure out what we can dump and get rid of. What we don't need, you know what I mean? Right now, I'm just trying to see if I can get enough stone to make a campfire. Fuck, dude. I thought this shovel was gonna yield me a good amount of stone relatively quickly from, from that, but it's not doing anything. Uh, what about over here? Dude, see? This is what I'm talking about in, in terms of testing this game mode out. Right, right now, I can tell you, we should have started the game with a level 1 iron fire axe and a level 1 iron pickaxe. Because that's what I can use right now to get some stone. I mean, look at me, I'm just punching the concrete like an idiot. Alright, let's eat. We don't have much food, but some. That's all we'll eat for now. We got a good amount of water. Uh-oh. Looks like the zombies have found their way up here. All right, let's just go make sure that there are no more that are going to come up here, especially once it turns night and they're runners. There are definitely more still awake in the building. There must have been some up here in the drop ceiling, though. Yeah, because I think there were two pieces of... Uh, I think there was a piece of wood right here. And they must have broke out from, from back there. Because there's no way they can get up here to the drop ceiling. There, like I said, there must have been some zombies up here already. And I think we've dealt with all of them. So let's just get out of here. We'll come back and loot in the morning. We missed something right here. Nothing. Alright. Well, it's kind of quieted down. I can still hear some zombies growling and groaning or whatever, but they're not beating on anything, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be safe up here for the night. And it is now officially night. You know what? I better grab a pistol. Oh, I have a pistol on me. There's some ammo in here. We'll grab that. Now, just in case some runners do find their way up here, at least we're armed. But yeah, tonight, I'm just going to go through the inventory and the gyro, our personal inventory. I dropped some stuff off in the crates behind me, so I'm just going to go through everything, see if there's anything that we can leave behind that we don't need so we can open up some inventory space. And then... In the next episode, we will loot the building that we're on top of now, and then we'll take off and go explore the rest of the city. So, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this game mode. I hope you're looking forward to the next episode, and we're just going to play this until Alpha 18 launches. And if you guys really enjoy this game mode, we'll do it again in Alpha 18. So, guys, thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to, that would be awesome. It really does help out the channel. Guys, stick around for more 7 Days to Die, and I will catch you all in the next episode.